Hello and welcome to an unboxing of this, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. Now, I see this as a Christmas present to myself. Now, how did I get my hands on this? Well, that was more coincidence because I know this guy who knows this guy. And uh, this guy bought that Samsung tablet and uh, he offered it to me because he knows I'm a little tech guy for 200 bucks. Now, I, the problem was, I, I don't know Jack about tablets. I really, I know a lot about iPads, but that's it. I don't know anything about any Android tablets. So I thought it's going to be one of those, you know, cheap, crappy ones that are going to be obsolete in one or two years down the road. Uh, so I said, wait, maybe. And I Googled and I found out that these things retail for new for 480 bucks now i was really shocked that must be a good tablet right now as you can see that's the next great thing it still has the the label so it's not even open and he offered it me for 200 bucks as you can see it's still originally sealed it's still in the original box now i could go ahead and sell this for brand new and make whatever about 200 or 180 bucks uh of my uh, just plus just because i got this now i was gonna do that you know i'm i was gonna be that asshole but uh i i thought you know what i always wanted an android tablet i i'm not really a tablet guy so i never really care too much about tablets but i always wanted an android one i know the ipads really well by the way here is a an ancient old ipad 2 which is still great uh but i only know ipads so i thought i mean i would i will never get this killer deal again for this galaxy tab for 200 bucks now if you're gonna say this guy was only to me stupid, well, I I, I really I don't want to say anything against him because he's a rather nice guy. But in this case, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it is a Galaxy Tab S2. Uh, it's got a 1.9 gigahertz plus a 1.3 gigahertz octa core processor. An octa fucking core processor. This has more cores than my new PC. You got three gigs of RAM, which is ridiculously good for a tablet. An eight megapixel, uh, I think, on the back and a two point one on the front. <laughs> that is typical. I mean, the the good one always on the back, but the one you actually gonna use on a tablet for Skype and whatever that the front one that must be shit. Whatever. Thirty two gigs of storage. That's amazing. And yeah, a portion of memory is occupied by existing content. I think it runs Android. Maybe five, actually, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it's a Wi-Fi model, 9.7 inch. That's the perfect size of a tablet, for, in my opinion. The, the smaller ones are just like oversized phones, nothing more. Even though they're tablets, you get the idea. So, seal is cut. Now it's worth about 100 bucks less. I don't care. I we get inside this. Now, I'm, I'm not going to get into this constant... Apple versus Samsung thing, but this this box really reminds me of iPad, you know, just that you don't have the device here. That's how it is there, everything in. Yeah, and here it is. It is the black model, I suppose, which is good because that's the one I wanted. But if this would have been the white one, I wouldn't care because I got it for so cheap. Wow, that is thin as fuck. Well, as all as all the unboxers on YouTube will put the interesting stuff away and focus on the unnecessary one you don't care. We got a USB and a power cable and wow this is still this is unopened you still have that seal there a quick start guy wait is oh that's for the probably for the uh additional SD because now I thought Wait, this is the Wi-Fi model, right? But no, I think that's for the SD. There is nothing more in there, actually. I think. No, yeah, that, that's it. So, that's... Wow, I, I this is so light and thin. Let's see how the quality is. 
It's uh, open this up. How does it even work? <laughs> ah, there it goes. Yeah, I don't really do a lot of unboxing of new stuff at all. And I don't do unboxings in general because I think they're boring. But in this case, I had to do it because when you get a, such a tablet for so cheap. No, oh, it's still got that protective thing on it. But this is a beauty, actually. And from the looks, it looks pretty good. Design-wise, it still has a button, and it has that back button that, uh, yeah, it actually is a oversized phone if you look at it. But isn't that every tablet? Alrighty, should have gotten a case for this if I had known that I was gonna buy that because this is mint. Wow, I mean it's brand new, what they expect, right? But. Still, I don't even want to lay that down to get any scratches. <sighs> we'll do it this way. I'm overly cautious there, I know, but I, I, when do I get a new tablet? Like, never. I was never going to get a new tablet if I would ever have gotten one in the first place. But then I get this 32 I mini mean, sticker is really ugly. I'm going to keep it now. What is, what are, what are those things? Is that the... You can press these things. Ah, oh, I think that's for the case that wraps around it, like the smart cover for the iPad. Does it have a charge? It has. Oh wow, that display. That display, man! And I'm sorry for this, this light. But... Ding, ding. Oh my gosh, that display, that is some, sh that is some resolution, seriously, wow, this is like the, the retina one, OMG, see I'm, I'm, most of the guys say, oh I've got a better one, and, oh. but wow, I'm so impressed by this display, I mean I, I've used this for now, a little time, and yeah, it's definitely in, they're the same size almost, but it's got a little thinner bezels. But the display on this, wow, wow, OMG. Now I will set this up here and uh, then we'll get it going. So the Galaxy Tab is running and uh, I didn't know that this also has a fingerprint scanner. So let's quickly demonstrate that. And boom, works pretty good. So. Yeah, uh, I think I really am a lucky bastard that I got this for, for that price because that is one of the, I'm not sure, but it's probably one of the more high-end tablets, um, especially the processor, wow. Now, it is fast. Uh, I'm going to run some updates. I really don't know a lot about Android, so I think this can change. And uh, yeah, um we're looking forward to using this more. I mean, again, I'm not really a tablet guy, so maybe this can improve my experience with tablets. And if not, well, then I got still a nice uh, tablet. <laughs> yeah, um, I still need to figure out what all of this is. I seem to have uh, some stuff pre-installed. Uh, yeah. What I'm really looking forward to is just to, to learn Android, because I think I'm so behind, you know, with Android. And my, the latest one I, I used as really a primary one that was 4. Point something. And now we have 5.0.2. I'm not even running an update. So, yeah, uh, I'll quickly launch the camera. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Don't need that. This is the back camera. Now, I, I can't really tell you right now if it's really mint or if it's just more more of a thing to show off, but um, I'm not planning on using uh, my tablet for doing any kind of photographing. <laughs> Front one. Oh, my God. Yep, that's what I expect, you know. It's a, what is it, a 2.1 megapixel? I mean, you can't get really the best there, but whatever. Don't care about the cameras too much. Uh, 
yeah, these are kind of my first impressions. I, I'm a little uh, busy at the moment, so I can't really continue the video, but there will come more from this tablet, I promise that. And uh, I will just get it set up, get everything settled in, and uh, then we'll see if it actually can replace my portable. But, ah, I don't think so. Whatever. See you guys. So here are some more reasons why you should not use a beta version of an operating system on one of your daily computers or at least on computers that you depend on <laughs> because I am here um, in, you know in vacation and yeah I was just unboxing one of my cars I bought for my collection here you know the nice Mustangs and then Windows told me well, you need to restart because of an update, you know? And I was like, yeah, why not? You know, it's usually like that. And then when it rebooted, it uh, went to this screen. And I've already seen that once. It has got this nice new installation screen. I think it looks amazing. I've seen it once already on a different version. Uh, but I was at home, not, not so happy seeing it because if that fails, um, I have no ability to kind of, well, I have no optical media or so to restore this computer to make it useful. Now, thankfully, there aren't any, you know, big important beta on here that I could lose or so. And I also have uh, Ubuntu on the other partition, but still, if you had this, if that was your daily driver computer, and you have that like on a whatever business trip or whatever you and you need it and it goes to this screen it first wastes a lot of time that you probably need and if it fails well shit what do then so well yeah again that's uh, that's what what you should not do you should not use beta versions of operating systems on one of your important computers but you know me uh, I can't resist, and I actually love Windows 10 compared to Windows 8.1, so yeah, you get the idea. So I don't even know what's new on this version it's installing. Must be one of the bigger updates. I hope it doesn't kill up any, uh, any of my drivers or so. But the last time it already, you know, went fine. It did take time though. But I have the time, thankfully. I'm not busy or so. I don't need it at the moment, but... Hey, yeah, it's um, it's a little bad for other people who have this. Now, what I also find shit, though, is, I mean, yes, first of all, it's your own mistake if you use it, because it's still in development, you know, and it has bugs, but it's still shit of them that it just says uh, it's installing an update, and then it reinstalls the whole entire operating system. <laughs> you know, that kind of sucks, in my opinion, but... Oh well, oh well, looks cool at least, hopefully it doesn't freeze or so, but it doesn't look like, as you see, it went up to 3% already, so yeah, now thankfully again, I don't need this computer right now, and I don't really depend on it, but it's uh, just a warning, if you have a computer and you take it somewhere and you need to use it, do not install uh, not finished operating system in that, you know, not finished and still in development, a beta version of an operating system. It doesn't matter which one, if it is Windows, if it is OS X, if it is Ubuntu or whatever, do not do it on computers you really need to use. But yeah, um, if that fails, somehow I still have Linux and it's not, not so bad, but, um, you know, it could be worse. So... Thank you for watching, just a little warning to you guys, and uh, yeah, I need to trust Microsoft this time, <laughs> or Dell, or whatever, the programmers of Windows 10, <laughs> but yeah, not so bad in my case, but just to war uh, uh, to warn you guys a little bit about this.